Hey loves, hey. Happy Friday after work hours <laughs> for my world. Best part about my week is clocking out on them Fridays, especially when it's one of them weeks where I was on time all week. <laughs> and it was just busy, busy. So I'm unwinding. Fridays is free nights. I tell them damn kids, whatever in the house that you can cook without my help, you can have it, okay? <laughs> I come home on Fridays and I just unwind. I'm with some weed, y'all. I do smoke, drinking me some little wine, and I just relax. We deserve it, just to, you know what I mean? So I figure, well, I was sitting here thinking, and was like, why not? I want to vent. I gotta let some things out, okay? Um, I'm working on my insecurities. You know, first it came to my sides, you know, being bald. That's how work went today, you guys. It's work. Y'all already know my little famous slick back with the... <laughs> because my little signature hairstyle. But I'm now working on being I'm top heavy. I'm top heavy to the point I want a rest reduction, right? But I don't get back problems. I don't get problems to the point that I go to the doctor enough to complain because I'm pretty sure, you know, referral wouldn't be a problem. But I feel that since I don't get the back problems, I don't got time to go to somebody doctors every other fucking week complaining about something that's really not wrong with me. You know, but it's a struggle, right? Because no disrespect, all women that has big girls are not big girls. And I love my big girls, small girls, in between girls. I'm I'm not a big lady, but I am very top heavy. Somebody need to come on, let's get this bra line going, okay? Uh, <laughs> it's hard because shopping, is, it's a motherfucker. Being out because I'm so top heavy, you know, going to the doctor's office and, and the stairs, it's uncomfortable. It's uncomfortable to the point that I hate my breasts. You know what I mean? I fucking hate them. But at the same time, they really don't give me no problems. But it's hard, if that makes sense. I don't know. Insecurity's a motherfucker, y'all. Like, in this still like relationships and shit, like, my bro, like, don't come off because it's never just perky because they're fucking, they're heavy, but they're not the kind of heavy that makes me have to complain. You know what I mean? How it works. But it's a motherfucker. People don't understand that everybody that's top heavy is not me, uh, 4X, 5X. So me shopping is hard, hard. Even like for my bras, you know, all the cup sizes that actually fit me, honey. The back is not for me because, again, I'm really not a fucking big lady, you know. And there's nothing wrong with being a big lady, but it's hard when I got stuck with big girls and I'm not a big girl. A lot of people don't think about that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Like, fuck. Everything has got to be fucking hard, you know. And big bras is expensive. People are like, oh, go here. They got sales going on, but then you go buy the big bras that have sales. Like, I'm going to fucking jail, y'all. Go find the one to sell. They fuck you got two fucking paper towels on. <laughs> Seriously, so to find one that really holds you and is fucking comfortable. What? I wish I can. Victoria don't hold no fucking secret of mine. It's like for real, for real. And I don't think Frederick likes me. <laughs> Seriously. But happy Friday. Just venting. Needing to talk working on insecurities that I have within myself and it just be trickier sometimes because meeting people is never this you know and it's hard because we're like damn hi and it's I don't know and I think people do it unconsciously just the fact that I am top heavy you know it is what it is though if I had a certain kind of mind frame, y'all, I would be rich, okay? <laughs> okay? Fuck. But it is what it is. Happy Friday. Thanks for always listening to me. I'm going to wash my hair tonight. Uh, and then we're going to actually dive into the size. I'm going to dye it. 
I want to go like that swamp kind of green. You know what I mean? So I really do want to dye it, but I want to wash it. And I want to, um, we're going to get into up close and personal because we have not touched bases raw and uh, cut. Every time I'm on here, it's already slick. And I'm work showing y'all how much I can lay it down now. But it's like, okay, honey, what about when you don't got eco and moose and shit right there? What they looking like? So I'm going to uh, wash it and dye it. I'm aiming for tomorrow because I do want to go like a real dark green. You don't know the STEM lady at the job today? Yesterday, I had them pushed up in a little ponytail with, with my headband on. And she's looking at me and she's new there. She only see me with my little box braid that was only in for a fucking month. But I walked in and she like, so, I'm like, damn, hi. And she's like, is that so is that your real hair are you the kind that you know have a different hairstyle every day it's like shape little white lady but <laughs> okay okay you know there's one of the ones that the best part about our kind of hair we can do a little bit of everything i could be somebody new every day <laughs> fuck but yeah it's life especially when there's not many of you know us in the building Every moment become a moment where you have to just educate certain people. Cause I'm here, baby. <laughs> she ain't coming nowhere. <laughs> I ain't doing nothing, y'all. Just got on and wanted to vent a little bit, talk about my dilemmas, listen to the shit that be running through my head, but I just be unwinding, detoxing, and playing back shit that goes on through your day. And the way some of them people just, no matter how much they know that we're here, some of them still just cannot swallow that. It becomes uncomfortable after a while. You know what I mean? It becomes uncomfortable when you have to stop and think about the way you handle certain situations at work that the next motherfucker can't act up about because you don't want to come across as the angry black lady. You know what I mean? The angry black girl. And the black girl's got attitude. But them motherfuckers stupid. Like, ooh. <laughs> they is, y'all. It would just be basic common sense shit. And I just have to just swallow it and be thinking like, somebody who's not using common sense would do some of the shit that I be having to deal with there. You know? I've learned to not take it personal now because it's just like, you motherfucker's stupid. You know, look at me how you want to, but I'm stupid. But anywho, I will, I'm, I'm just holding and talking. I'm unwinding. Y'all know me. I told y'all, I do smoke my little weed and I drink me some wine. I'm a homebody and I talk my ass off. Um, have a great weekend. Be safe, my loves. We're going to wash it up close Sunday. <laughs> My loves.